I've had the opportunity to um, I've had the opportunity to be an educator for a number of years now. One of the things that um, continues to draw me back every day to um, being an educator is making sure that people know that I am truly connected to and want to be connected to what happens um, with our students in schools. Um, that's what motivates me. That's what gets me up. That's what um, makes me energized and, and enthusiastic about doing the work that I do today. So, I get to take a couple of quick questions from you, so fire away! I don't have one boss. I have five bosses. Okay. Oh, my, five. my five bosses are the five school board members. So they are the people who actually are my boss. They, they hire me. My favorite animal? Cheetah. They are super fast. How strong are you? How strong am I? Um, I'm kind of strong. How's that for an answer? Favorite thing I like about my job is I love doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is standing in front of a group of fantastic learners and answering questions and talking to them. Ooh, that. that's a good one. So my middle name, my middle name is actually the first name of my dad's best friend when he was in the military. So my middle name is Vicente, Sean Vicente Perry. That's really cool. So I would say to you, my influencers have always been actually kids. Um, so. The thing that I loved most about being an educator was being around kids and being in a classroom like the classroom I'm in right now. And so, I kind of got influenced to become a teacher by kids. Then I got influenced to become a principal by kids. And then I got influenced to be a simple office administrator by kids. Um, and not, not, that, not so much a superintendent. But I wanted to be a superintendent so I could be around well, I think my official job, my official job is to be um, basically the steward of the schools. And part of being the steward of the schools is to set the direction, set um, maybe the, the tone, set the culture for the schools in the district. So I'm the person who's really in charge of making sure that our, our district does the things that we say we're going to do based on the way that uh, at least the, the interview with, with the superintendent and the school board. So that's my job. My job is basically to set the tone for the district. I'm the paper boy. I know you don't even know what a paper boy oh, yeah. is, okay. do you? Okay. 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 It's like a kid that passes out the newspaper. Yes! Okay. Goodness gracious, how old are you? Are you like 25? <laughs> <laughs> I know about Oh, okay. I, I didn't even know there was such. I didn't know that you guys even knew what paper boys are. But I was a paper boy. I I was um, actually I didn't think I was a really good writer, and um, there was a teacher who I cannot remember her name. I can remember her, but she was a person who really kind of she started looking at my writing and she said, "Sean, you are a fantastic writer." And I think we should be in our writing club. And from that moment forward, I loved writing things. And that was one of the best things someone ever said to me. That was a fantastic writer. When I was in, when I was in high school, I was, um, I loved to run track, so I was a sprinter. 100, 200, four by one, and four by four, I was actually a quarter miler too. Um, and I also played football. Um, I wrestled a little bit. So a couple of different things that I did when I was when I was that age, and a little bit after high school as well. What is my biggest fear? Spiders. Oh. Spiders. It doesn't matter if they could be like this big, or they could be like this big, and just not having it. Most times I have to scream and have somebody come in and remove said spider from the room with me. Relationships are key, um, and relationships are built through making sure that there's connections 
um, between you and the students that you have the opportunity to work with, meaningful connections where they know that you care about them and you, it's reciprocated. They, they care about you as well. And when that relationship is strong, that's when the, that's when the, uh, that's when the, the largest amount of learning happens. Um, and it's not learning that's one way. It's learning that is reciprocated. It goes both ways. Um, I'm learning from the students and they're learning from me. And that's what, makes, that's what makes for a powerful community. That's what makes for a strong community. That's what makes for a cohesive community. And that's what it's about. And that's what we want our students to take into, into the world with them too, is the power of relationship and how that really does impact the world as a whole. So um, it's been my privilege to, to continue to work and continue that work that has always been done in, in the, the, the city of Enumclaw and Black Diamond, their cities of Enumclaw and Black Diamond, and specifically in the Enumclaw School District, where people do realize that that's the most important thing. The most important thing is building relationships with students in order to make sure that we can capitalize on the, the learning that needs to happen in their lives in order for them to be successful, in order for them to be true contributors in the community, in this community and beyond. So again, my great pleasure to be the superintendent of the Enumclaw School District and even more so to be an educator and a friend for students in this school district. All right, that's all the time I have for questions. I'm sorry. I know you have no thank questions. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me be here today. You are awesome. And I hope to come back again and answer some more questions for you. Or, man, I might just have some questions yeah, for you. That yes. What? Yes, I know. Short time. All right. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.